ಸತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಾದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಡಿಯರ್ ಪ್ರಭುಜಿ ದಿನ ಮಾತಾಜೀಸ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಮೈ ಹಾಂಬಲ್ ಒಬಿಸಿಯನ್ಸಸ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಡೂ ಫಾರ್ ಗಿವ್ ಮೀ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಸೇ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಫೈವ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಟು ನೈನ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಲೋಕ ದಟ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎವರ್ ಲರ್ನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಲೋಕ ನಾಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿ ಜಿ ಆರ್ ಭಾಗವತಮ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಫೈ ಫೈ ಡಾಟ್ ಟು ನೈನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮರ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಬಾಲ್ಗಂಜ್ ಪ್ರಭುಜಿ ಸೊ ಬಿ ಜಿ ಫೈ ಡಾಟ್ ಟು ನೈನ್ ಭೋಕ್ತಾ ಯಜ್ಞ ತಪಸ ಸರ್ವೋಕ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಸುಹೃದ ಸರ್ವೂತ ಜ್ಞಾತ್ವ ಮಾಂ ಶಾಂತಿ ರುಚಿತೆ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಬೈ ಹಿಸ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಎ ಸಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಶ್ರೀಲ ಪ್ರೋಪಾತ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇನ್ ಫುಲ್ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೀ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ಟು ಬಿ ದ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಬೆನಿಫಿಷರಿ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ರಿಫೈಸಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ಟರಿಟೀಸ್ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಪ್ಲಾನೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೆಮಿಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಬೆನಿಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆಲ್ ವಿಷರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಎಂಟಿಟೀಸ್ ಅಟೇನ್ಸ್ ಪೀಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಪ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಮಿಸರೀಸ್ so this uh, verse is actually very very important so shila prabhupad he described that this verse is uh, one of the most important verses in the bhagavad gita so why is this very important because it is dealing with the topic of peace and well being of this of this material world so not just this material world spiritual world but in spiritual world there will be everlasting peace so in short we can just say the word is this that this is the peace formula the peace formula verse of from which comes from the chapter 5 last verse of chapter 5 of bhagavad gita so even uh, balgan prabhu ji many times in his classes he also talked about this verse or told quoted about this verse so if it uh, if it occurred many times it had many appearances in those classes also then we can understand that it is a very very important verse and we have to know about this verse so if all the people in this world the entire humanity if they know about this one verse then there won't be any enmity there there will be no one who will be saying you are my enemy you are my friend everyone will be a friend only and then what we, ha- we also have dictionaries right we have cambridge dictionary we have harvard dictionary oxford dictionary many dictionaries we have right so in those dictionaries we can just remove one word what is that word we can remove the word enemy because if everyone is friendly if everyone is under working under krishna then there won't be any enmity because they are the friends because they are uh, all of us we are the sons of god and so every other people they are like brothers and sisters now if we if we see in this uh, pledge of india we have a pledge right so uh, in that also all indians are my brothers and sisters so not just indians everyone in this world are actually our brothers and sisters but actually even though all indians are our brothers and sisters every day we say that in the pledge but still even indians are fighting among themselves even brothers and sisters fighting amongst themselves so in why are we still fighting because they still don't know about this verse so that pledge is uh, we are uh, we are not fulfilling that pledge we should go uh, come under krishna and we should work under krishna we should become his devotee and then we will fulfill that pledge what we are making so uh, so we are actually really really fortunate to be born in india so in india there are major percentages are hindus only and that too we are also, we are hindus so hindu is is very uh, is a uh, is also quite fortunate and we are getting this knowledge from whom we are getting this knowledge whom we are getting this knowledge we are getting it from the supreme personality of godhead lord shri krishna himself so since we are listening this uh, confidential transcendental knowledge from the bona fide spiritual master who came from the parampara like uh, balgan prabhuji so everyone in this world they actually they want peace but do they know how to get peace no one knows how to get peace if they and if they look uh, if they read this under, and understand this shloka then they will understand 
So Srila Prabhupada, he always used to quote a very, very good example. What is that? That the United Nations. He was quoting that. He gave this example when talking about this verse. So the United Nations, it's actually working for world peace, right? We have, we know that, right? So, but year after year, there are more flags, more divisions of countries, more countries, which means there is no peace. People are fighting among them, among themselves, and what is happening? They are dividing. They are making more, more countries. So, at first, when every uh, uh, we, uh, as in science books, and millions of years ago, whatever they tell in science books, they told there is one continent only. So there was only one continent. So at that time, we can understand that most of the people were at peace, and be, but because of the coming conditions of uh, Kali Yuga, the land started dividing and people started dividing. There became two continents. So from one continent, which is named Pangaea, two continents came. And now those two continents, they were two different types of people. And then what happened? India was in completely uh, um, separated from the second continent. And India became one uh, island. It, it was not even a part of Asia uh, as of now. And then after a many, many years of transformation, they tell that India has come to join with Asia and now it became like the world today. But why not? Uh, it, so there are not even se seven, uh, co there are seven continents, right? We all know. So in those seven continents, there are again many, many countries, small, small countries also there are. And then again in that country also, there are so many states. Why are there so many states and countries? In this co and why also so many continents? Continents uh, we cannot uh, think about that. But why are they so many countries and so many states? Because we have no peace. That's why there are more more flags, more more countries, more states. Everything coming. It's, it's, uh, no one is at union. So United Nations was also fail. It didn't work. So if they are really creating fee, as Srila Prabhupada tells. If they are really creating peace, then there should be only one flag. But instead of decreasing flags so that you will become only one flag, you are actually increasing the number of flags. So year after year, there are so many uh, uh, new flags coming on new small, small countries or big countries also. Now, um, there used to be uh, there used to be USSR and that was all under one great country and everyone was uh, very happy then. Uh, but uh, they were uh, they were the most powerful Russia and the USSR. They were so powerful. But then what did they do? Ukraine and all those countries they broke up after the Soviet Union. Now after they broke up, they didn't become that much powerful anymore. They were not united. They were fighting among themselves only, and they become they became lower in state. They become the lower of mankind. So we have to understand this. And if we understand this sloka, then we will understand peace. So, if we are dividing out of all this disagreement, differences like race difference or uh, gender difference or uh, black, uh, you are black, you are white, you go to your country, you go to your black country, you go to your white. So, if we are having so many different differences and disagreements, we will not come to unity at all. So, all of us living in this material world, we are always disturbed by many anxieties and miseries. So there are three miseries. We already know about that. I won't elaborate about that. So everyone in this world, they want peace. Is there anyone who wants to fight? Come on, let's fight. Let's fight. No peace. No one will want that. Everyone wants peace, right? So, but for achieving peace, we are, we are, uh, because we are the dist so uh, everyone in this they, they do not know the process for achieving peace because we are at we are the disturbed we are the people of the disturbed category or we are disturbing others so in uh, lord krishna they, he says this same sentence in bhagavad gita 12.15 yashmanno dvijate loko lokanno dvijate chaya harsha marsha bayo dvayger muktaya sachame priya so, Lord Krishna, he says in this verse that he who is not disturbing others and is not disturbed by others is very dear to him. 
so we should not fall in these two categories we have to transcend these cat categories so now in this verse we will uh, discuss about this verse elaborately so in this verse krishna explains in the phrase bhokta ram yagna tapasam so these three words they are also very important they are very significant so in this verse krishna is it said that krishna explains he is the only enjoyer and bhokta means en enjoyer and krishna is the bhokta so anything we perform like vedic sacrifices rituals tapasya so any uh, vedic sacrifices or rituals or tapasyas we perform uh, from all these krishna is only the enjoyer and he is only the person who gives the results so uh, nowadays uh, we are we also try to own like uh, we we want to become superior to people superiority complex inferior inferiority complex so we try to become more powerful uh, suppose we have our boss we always think about let us become like ceo we don't want to be under this fellow let's be ceo ceo so that all these other people will we always think like that we want to become the owner we want to become the false owner we always want to uh, own on people even i uh, i try to propriate my sister like don't do this don't do that everything like that so then the next phrase sarva loka maheshwaram so krishna is the supreme lord of all the planets and demigods which means that krishna is the proprietor of everything earth planet it comes under all the planets if krishna says all the planets that comes even to earth so if um, so the who is the pro uh, proprietor of, of of earth who is the maintainer of the material world the material world's proprietor and is krishna but maintainer is whom the maintainer is lord shiva and lord Dur uh, goddess durga so but krishna he also tells that he is the lord of all the demigods so that means he is also the lord of lord shiva and goddess durga that means even though he is not directly there his agents that is the demigods they are doing the work for him because he krishna he can do it all himself he can just expand into everything but he also wants to give his devotees he wants to give them work like uh, giving yamaraj lord yamaraj he is a very pure devotee right so he got the work of uh, dharma he got the work of dealing with dharma is the is this a dharma is this dharma what is this what is the punishment he needs what is the shiksha he will get for this work what is the profit or fruits he will get from this good work like that so next final thing is so in this verse in in this part krishna says that he is the well wishing friend of all living entities and so if we understand these three simple things three three word sentences parts three three word sentences right so all the so that is just almost nine words i think is nine words so if we understand these nine words then we will attain everlasting peace and we will be we will be we will be very happy and we will be ecstatic and like that so in in the present age the the so called modern age people they are focused on sense gratification and all those stuff right in the material stuff so and they are so confused that they don't even know what they want and some people they, when they are eating they eat more than they what they even i actually do that sometimes so they eat more than what they will uh, they think they can eat so they don't they are so confused about that also so uh, they don't know how much they want they don't know the purpose of life only they don't know the, you, then uh, in 1950 or something the hippies they were giving up their life they were uh, sons and daughters of so many rich billionaires and millionaires so uh, why did they why are they still uh, questioning the purpose of life they j they left their homes they left their the hospitality luxurious living and they came to live on the street and sleep on the street and take drugs and everything so that is the degraded state what they became so they don't know the purpose of life so people they actually imitate others and try to pretend what they are not and they try to satisfy what is that uh, 
uh, false ego. So in the nectar of instruction, which is actually called the Upadeshamritam, in the text 5 of nectar of instruction, Srila Prabhupada, he beautifully writes in the purport one. What is that? There is a, there is a, there is one phrase, one sentence that is very important. One should not imitate the behavior of an advanced devotee or Mahabhagavata without being self-realized. For by such initiation, imitation, sorry, by such imitation, one will eventually become degraded. So, that is so very true actually because in uh, it's not only in the spiritual life if we try to um, imitate others and we want to go like some some person like uh, Jeff Bezos he is the owner of Amazon so if we try to imitate him like give orders to everyone he we will not achieve that unless we are really very very high in position we are we are getting a lot of money like that so even in spiritual life it's applicable and even in material life so and uh, if we are trying to imitate others and more and more like uh, we we are not becoming we are losing our uniqueness every it is said that every uh, human is unique every animal is unique um, they are unique in their own way not just facial looks or anything like that so um, then we have twins even the twins even though they look almost alike or they have some differences they are unique in their own way suppose one twin will get 100 in every exam and the other twin will get zero in every exam so they are there uh, one is unique of getting 100 uh, getting good marks and one is unique in always failing okay so like that we can understand so if we are trying to if we are keep on lo uh, uh, doing this we will lose our uniqueness and we will lose our identity and ultimately that will degrade us and it will lead to our own destruction and we will not attain any peace. So it is very important to understand that Krishna is the only enjoyer. Okay. And whatever we are enjoying is false enjoyment. So in this verse, when Krishna says uh, he is the enjoyer, what does that mean? So Krishna, he is a very uh, exalted person, right? He is the supreme personality of God and not just an exalted person. He is not a degraded person like all this material people. He, uh, his enjoyment is like transcendental enjoyment. It's not... Um, false enjoyment, material enjoyment. It is the exchange of pure love because he has he is not in material condition. He he is transcendental of material world of the material world. So what we call uh, love in the Lord uh, in the material world or lust or anything that is simply to excuse to exploit others. So that is false love. So the real love is for whom? It's for Krishna. So as long as we don't understand that we are the we are eternal spirit souls and we are part and parcel of Krishna, all our endeavors towards love uh, and everything, it will always be leading to frustration. So suppose we like one person and we want to marry them and we marry them and then suddenly they we get into our argument and they divorce, we divorce. So that's again, it's leading to frustration. So we should understand that everything is meant for tra the transcendental pleasure of Krishna and it's not meant for our own pleasure. This material world is actually meant for the pleasure of Krishna so that we can uh, again come and unite with Krishna. So this is, a, we can again uh, take the analogy of uh, the jail. So this material world is like the jail. Every kingdom it has its jail, right? How can we question Krishna, why are you creating this material world for us to suffer? You are doing very bad we cannot do like that because every kingdom it has its jail every city it has its jail so uh, there are some people who are criminals they are they do some bad activities so we are like those criminals material beings are those criminals and we are locked up in this world of a uh, world of hell the material world so we have to understand this and without the uh, and whatever we are trying to do, endeavor, anything, it will always lead to frustration. So in this material world, everything is temporary, right? It will get destroyed at one point of time. It will get created again. So the so the, if the jail, if it's becoming very old, we of course will destroy it. Come on, let's dig off. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll remove the jail and we'll create a bigger and better one. So like that, uh, whatever. Uh, so that's what happens to the material world.
so if we want to live uh, we want to live eternally everyone wants to be immortal right who wants to be immortal everyone wants to be immortal but what kala kala is what time time takes us away that facility so if one doesn't want to die then there is the spiritual world where we can become immortal and everything is eternal eternal means everlasting infinite so fu- it's full of bliss it's um, infinite in uh, it's everlasting bliss everlasting transcendental knowledge and everything so the most importantly what thing is there krishna lives there and krishna with all his devotees live there and there is no death they are immortal so if we want to become immortal then we have to worship krishna not do some uh, yagnas or just think saying i am immortal i am immortal i will not die but at one point of time we will die we are seeing so many people die and we are seeing so many people take birth so that process is going to keep on happening to us if we do not come under krishna consciousness so in this material world we can qualify ourselves to go to the spiritual world by simply just doing some simple steps what is that just chanting and uh, preaching about krishna chanting the hari krishna maha mantra and uh, offering uh, food prasadam to krishna not just prasadam in the shloka 9.26 bhagavad gita patram pushpam phalam toyam yome bhaktya prayachati tadaham bhakti upahritam asnami prayatatmanah so in this uh, shloka krishna says if one offers me with love and devotion a leaf a flower a fruit or water krishna will accept it so there are many many cases in scriptures where uh, people uh, they are poor people and there are um, greatly uh, kings also they are they krishna accepts them at the same level because they are accepting it with the same love and devotion so there is actually one very good story i uh, it's a, there was a person who lived in tirupati so there were so there was a king and a person who lived there who lived there and he his occupation was pottery so every day they, they both the king and the uh, that potter they used to go and they would uh, offer some flowers and uh, fruits and everything to lord balaji okay lord balaji so um but uh, the potter had his flower garden so where he would pluck up some beautiful flower flowers and he would offer them but what happened every time they would become dirty why was that why is that why will they become dirty because he is a potter he he deals with mud and all those things right earth he deals he deals with earth earth and pots so always his uh, flower garden will get messy and will get dirty so the flowers also will become dirty then what will happen um so then uh, so the 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 potter he goes and offers the flower to lord balaji so once he goes and offers it um the king also comes he later he comes and he what does he offer he offers a golden flower so that's like uh, mi- that's millions or something millions or billions of dollars we can count it as so he, that was the opulence of the king because the king is very opulent and the potter he is like a poor person right so he is not that opulent so we have to understand that so but what happened uh, this king told who is putting this stupid flowers with the dirt and everything you should put clean flowers right to lord balaji so then he just removed the flower and then what happened he he went home and in his dreams once uh, lord balaji came in his dreams and what did he tell lord balaji told you do not uh, you g- bring me golden flowers but that that flower was a devo- was from a devotee and he was a pure devotee and he was uh, is a great devotee of mine how dare you remove his flower from me uh, he immediately put it back and go apologize to that potter so then the potter understood uh, and uh, this the king understood this and the next day he just went in uh, there and fell flat at the potter's uh, feet so krishna is treating the, uh, both the king and the potter at the same level one offered a dirty flower a very worn out flower and one offered 
a great uh, opulent uh, water opulent golden flower gold it's made of gold pure gold so krishna accepted both on the same level why because they both are devotees and they both are doing it with genuine love and devotion so krishna just checks uh, the if we are doing it with love and devotion not if we are giving something like um, krishna would actually rather eat something which uh, was given by a pure devotee than he, what was uh, very opulent and was given by uh, a not so pure devotee he would accept it anyhow so krishna wants our love just as a father is longing for this separated child so we are all lord krishna separated child and krishna is our father eternal father and he he is also longing for us to come back to god so but if we don't offer our love to krishna and we don't have faith in krishna and we don't know that krishna is our father then then we will we won't have any um then we won't have uh, we won't be able to come back to lord krishna right so ultimately what happens we are if we don't do this then we will get entangled in the cycle of birth and death again so there is one shloka bg 9.3 अश्रद्धान पुषा धर्म से परंतप्रप्यम वर्तंते मृत्यु संसार वर्तमनी सो दोस् हू आर् नाट फेथफुल इन दिस डिवोशनल सर्विस कैनाट अटेन मी ओ कॉन्कर ऑफ एनिमी देर फॉर दे रिटर्न टू द पाथ ऑफ बर्थ इन डेथ इन द मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड सो दिस इज वाट हैपन्स इफ वी डोंट अंडरस्टैंड दट लॉर्ड कृष्ण इज अवर फादर एटर्नल फादर so we have to understand that lord krishna is the real center of love and we have to love him and it's very simple to approach him and it requires a absolute consciousness to raise to the level the platform where we can attain uh, attain pure devotion pure uh, moksha you can say krishna is my maintainer and krishna will look after me we should think we should have this kind of faith krishna is my protector nothing will happen to me krishna is my maintainer i will give my body to krishna so what actually um, this is actually in chaitanya charitamrita sanatan goswami was there and when he uh, he was a uh, very very degraded he was the brother of rupa goswami so sanatan goswami he is very exalted person he is a pure devotee so um, when he was approaching lord uh, lord uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu in neelachal neelachal is uh, jagannath puri so uh, sanatan goswami actually he um, he was uh, very he was attacked by many diseases he, his entire body was filled with uh, pores and his blood was oozing out everywhere and uh, he came still like that and he wanted what is he was thinking on the day of jagannath ratha yatra he was thinking for he, to suicide himself commit suicide so he wanted to go underneath the cards of the jagannath and he wanted to suicide like that but then when uh, lord chaitanya mahaprabhu understood by this how can you suicide you already gave me your body i am your maintainer you gave me your body and i will look after it why are why are you taking away my body i want to do many things from you i want you to print books i want you to i will uh, i will print books through you i will preach through you i will chant through you i will dance through you i will sing through you everything krish uh, so uh, already uh, sanatan goswami gave away his body to chaitanya mahaprabhu then chaitanya mahaprabhu was so angry and he told how can you take away your body how can you uh, commit uh, suicide to your body i you gave me this body and now you are taking away, it away from me so that so krishna is our maintainer and we have to understand that so sarva loka maheshwaram krishna is the supreme lord of all planets and demigods that means he is the ultimate proprietor of everything so but we are also trying to be proprietor right i am the owner of this house i am the owner of this room i am the owner of this business this is my room i am an indian this is my car this is my lamborghini this is my ferrari this is my bike this is my rolls royce in reality nothing belongs to us why at the time of death we will take nothing nothing will uh, will we take anything after uh, the time of death all the things we are working for is useless after the time of death 
death is uh, it will just snatch away everything all our opulences all our uh, cars and houses or whatever we think we own we do not own that that's actually krishna's material energy which is creating that illusionary energy and in reality nothing of that belongs to us so we have to show gratitude to love towards lord krishna because why because we are thieves we are thieves and everything belongs to krishna so we are thieves if we are thinking that i am the owner of this this is not yours i am the owner so uh, even after uh, leaving this world we won't take anything right we suppose we have 1 billion dollars 1 billion dollars and after that will we get 1 billion dollars we won't even get we won't even know what is a dollar at that time we won't even know what is a dollar we won't even know abc we won't know anything again if we if we uh, um, what are we studying school for what are we getting engineering engineering degree or anything uh, phd for again uh, again we have to start from the basis only right again we have to start from the simple abc only next life so what is the use nothing there is no use and in the next life there is not even a guaranteed chance there is a very small chance that you will get human life again but the other uh, there are uh, uh, there is only one out of 8 million for a uh, 400000 so uh, th- that is the chance of us getting a human life otherwise we will, we will just be an animal only again again we won't we will uh, we won't have any money as an animal state we won't have any knowledge will we have phd as a dog will be we'll have P- uh, phd of dog study or something so uh, even the richest person of the richest person in this world has to leave this world in the same way how the poorest man leaves our dog leaves so what is the most degraded animal it's a snake but and who is like the richest person most opulent person is like jeff bezos bill gates so many people but they also will die in the same way they also will leave this world in the same way but the lowest of mankind the snakes and the other people those all abominable living beings they will also live at the same in the same way so what is the difference between them there is no difference between them one is in higher state of body one is in lower state of body but in the next life they it may be opposite the snake will become the high state of body and the the richest person will go to the snake world lower state so although we have so much of wealth possessions uh, we are, we will go empty handed and uh, oh, the only thing that will go is the karmic reaction so if we develop bhakti and then that that bhakti will also go with us so if we do 1% of bhakti 1% of devotee uh, uh, worship to krishna and then um, then in the next life we will start with 1% again and then if we in the next life if we get to 10% and then till we go to 100% that that will carry with us so that is so we have to understand we have to be intelligent so will we want to uh, will we want to um, engage in things that will be useless for the next birth or will we want to uh, will we want to engage in krishna consciousness and bhakti which will carry forward towards the next birth ultimately we will be somehow or the other we will be we will attain krishna we will attain krishna prem so in other words our activities all uh, they are like a bank balance for future lives so if we do good activities like giving prasad to people or giving charity or like giving charity to good people so if we do that then we will again um, if we do good activities we'll get good in the next life but then if we do bad activities like stealing or anything like that then again we'll get we'll get bad reaction in the next life so uh, the, it's uh, it's actually clearly explained in this shloka karmanyevadikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana ma karma phalahe turbur mate sangustva akarmani so this is 2.47 so you have a right to perform your prescribed duty but you are not entitled to the fruits of reaction never consider yourself the cause of the results of your activities and never be attached to not doing your duty so this was addressed to lord krishna was addressing this to arjuna but since we are also reading we also have had fortunate we are fortunate enough to um get the bhagavad gita we are also understanding this it's also for us so uh 
So finally, the last word, Sukhradam Sarva Bhutana. Krishna is the well-wishing friend of all living entities. So it means that Krishna loves everyone equally. It's not like that person, he has, he's rich. He, Krishna favored him. He, he's rich. He gave a lot of money to him. He gave no money to me. It's not like that. So there's nothing like Krishna likes Indians more. He favors more. He favors Jews more. He, he likes Americans more. He likes Pakistanis more. He likes uh, Christians more, Muslims more, Hindus more. It's nothing like that. Krishna is equal to everyone. No matter what they do, uh, if they do very bad activities, abominable activities, even that, Krishna will provide his things like air, water, earth, food, everything Krishna is only providing to us. But Krishna especially favors those who loves him back. So if Krishna is lo- Krishna is loving everybody, so if the father he will love all his sons equally, right? Uh, but then uh, one of those sons he will not listen to his father. He will not uh, even uh, talk to his father. He will go on his own way and he will never uh, come to uh, sit with his father or discuss or anything like that. Who will uh, the father love? He will love the person who is sitting with him who loves him more. Because um, because the other bad son is not uh, favoring, uh, favoring uh, the father. So if we are favoring Lord Krishna, then Lord Krishna will also be pleased with us. So, so all these mental speculations or opinions or restrictions that people think God is favorable to this particular section of humanity. God is favorable to the Kshatriya kings only. And so that is not at all true so krishna he uh, he not only loves every living being in human nature form but he loves every single animal also every single living entity so in whichever form they might be he loves all of them so that is why we should not harm any living entity because lord krishna is um lord krishna loves every living entity no matter what but what are we doing and Krishna is Govinda Gopal, the protector of cows. But what is the modern civilization doing? They are killing cows. They are that is the slaughtering. Their slaughterhouses are increasing day by day. Shops are increasing. So, so we are not following Krishna consciousness, and we are not pleasing Krishna consciousness. So therefore, we have to never. We have to be the protector of cows. We have to protect the cows, which are very dear to. Uh, Krishna. So Krishna says that Brahmanas and the cows are very dear to him. Go Brahmana. So we have to uh, pr- protect them and we have to protect every living entity. Not just we have to favor the cows and we have to not favor the dogs. Dogs are bad. Cats are bad. Cows uh, we have to favor every living entity. We should not neither uh, hurt them. We should neither kill them. So 9.29 there is a sloka. Sammoham sarva bhūtesho name dvesho stina priya ye bhajanti tumam bhaktya mai te te So Krishna in this loka he is telling that I envy no one nor I am partial to anyone I am equal to all but though whoever renders service unto me in devotion is a friend is a friend is in me and I am also a friend to him so that so this it, it explained in this sloka. But what are we doing? We already I already discussed. We have our opening slaughter uh, houses and we are uh, killing thousands and thousands of animals every day. What is that? Just to satisfy our tongue. So uh, I heard this from Radeshan Prabhuji's class yesterday. So the tongue it's very uh, vor- voracious. Like there's a sloka also on this. So the tongue it has no bones, right? It'll, it, it'll always go like slippery. It's always slippery like a snake. So the tongue has no bones. So but um, what will happen? The tongue will only the break the bones. If we say something bad, then uh, like if we say something bad to a bodybuilder maybe. And then the bodybuilder, he'll get angry and he'll smash all our bones. So the tongue doesn't have a bone, but it'll, it's the worst uh, organ. It is It can be used for good talking about good, talking about Krishna consciousness, talking, preaching. But there is also a bad side of it. So, there is a sloka uh, from SSP. It's, it's there. Jif vagre vartate 
so you that shloka is there that also deals with this same matter so krishna uh, if we are uh, if you are killing all these animals and we are eating them which is even more worse uh, then uh, krishna will not be at all happy about it krishna is always equal and he loves every single one of them so um, while offering uh, here uh, obeisances to krishna it is said that namo brahmanya devaya go brahmana hitaya cha which means i offer respectful obeisances unto supreme, the supreme personality of godhead who is the protector of the brahmanas and the cows so the brahmanas and the cows are very dear to krishna so we have to uh, we have to satisfy them we have to uh, feed the cows we have to take care of the cows and brahmanas we have to feed the brahmanas we have to take care of brahmanas like that so so if we only we do do these two things that means we are protecting the brahmanical culture the vedic culture and cows and we do this if every person uh, protects the brahmanas the holy brahmanas the cows proper brahmanas then automatically the entire world will achieve achieve peace but unfortunately each and every country is taking uh, it talks about peace and every day let's have peace today let's have world peace day World, uh, united nations day but every day we are stealing we are st- increasing the amount of slaughter houses we are increasing the scale of the killing of the animals so in, if we are doing this in massive scales then how can we achieve peace we cannot achieve peace and then we all have to suffer of these bad reactions what is uh, what the bad reactions of killing animals and all those bad things we are doing human society is doing so and we are already facing the karmic reactions of this in this life only if we suppose not just in this life we may get accident or anything like that in the next life also we may get it. and in this life already we are facing those karmic reactions and uh, what is that it's the corona virus covid 19 we are already facing the karmic reactions of uh, human society is already facing the karmic reactions so what is the take away from this shloka you have to understand that Bhagavad Gita is the book of peace, and that is proved clearly in this uh, verse. What do some people do? They they tell like, Bhagavad Gita is the book of violence. Bhagavad Gita should not be kept in homes. If it if it if you put it in home, all quarrels only will happen. Who said that? Who said that? No, those are all false false speculations. So this is the peace formula, and uh, when we accept this peace formula, we can understand that we are working under Krishna, and we will be. ever peaceful and blissful so krishna is always our natural friend so whatever we do we have to do this as an offering to krishna because he is the receiver and he is the ultimate beneficiary he is the benefactor and he is always our well wishing friend but if we don't give it how will krishna be able to receive it so at all times whatever activities we do we have to remember krishna we have to think about krishna and we should offer service to krishna we should offer uh, we have to offer o- uh, obeisances to krishna so in this last uh, 30 to 15 or minutes or so uh, we told uh, how many times i am saying uh, krishna 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 so many times i told right so i can call my uh, can i call my teacher by his name his name like uh, mr uh, suppose mr john John, hey John, come here. John, I didn't do homework today. Can we call our teacher or something like that? We cannot, and we even Balgun Prabhuji, we cannot call by the name. We are addressing as His Grace. We are giving respect. So if we are giving respect to our teachers and our spiritual masters, so uh, we we may uh, sometimes we don't even call um, our mothers and fathers who are so close to us. We don't call them uh, their real names. we call them uh, mom dad mother father amma nana it's like that so even close friends we don't call like that and even brothers and sisters even a person who is um, younger than us we call them chelli or uh, tamudu or something like that so if we don't call them by names even close friends sometimes we don't call them and um, i i call uh, all you prabhu ji and mata ji i call you by i call you prabhu ji mata ji so i i don't call you by names right 
but no, no we are not calling each other by names we are calling prabhu ji mata ji sir ma'am everything like that but when we are chanting hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram ram ram, ram hare hare how many times we are calling krishna by his name so krishna is giving us the privilege krishna himself the chaitanya mahaprabhu gave us this mantra so this maha mantra and he is giving us the privilege because he is our highest friend he is our uh, natural friend and he is a well wishing friend so let us continue ch- to chant attentively and sincerely and let us please krishna hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare 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 krishna mata ji thank you Hare Krishna, Ananta. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Sandra Desh and Sons again. Thank you. Last month, I have a question mark. 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 మన కష్టాలు తీసుకొచ్చేది కాదు అది మనకి పీస్ తీసుకొస్తుంది అని చెప్పేసి మంచి సందేశం ఇచ్చావు ఫైవ్ పాయింట్ అంటేనే గొప్పతారం చాలా బాగా చెప్పాను చాలా 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 బాగా మంచి ఎన్లైట్ చేస్తాం మళ్ళీ ఒకసారి మాకు మళ్ళీ గుర్తు చేసావు కృష్ణుడి ఎందు ఎప్పుడు కృష్ణుడే తలుచుకోవాలని చెప్పేసి సో థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ హరే కృష్ణ ఆల్ ది బెస్ట్ గాడ్ బ్లెస్ తిన్నా హరే కృష్ణ అంతా ఎక్సలెంట్ చెప్పావు నాన్న ప్రిపరేషన్ టైం కూడా తీసుకోకుండా చక్కగా చెప్పగలిగావు దట్ షోస్ యువర్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ అండ్ పర్ఫెక్షన్ నాలెడ్జ్ లో యువర్ కంట్రోల్ ఆన్ ద సబ్జెక్ట్ అమ్మా సో దట్స్ వైస్ ప్రభుజీ కుదరదో అనం కానీ ఇమీడియట్లీ క్లాస్ తీసుకోగలగడం అనేది నీకు ఆ సబ్జెక్ట్ మీద ఉన్న కంట్రోల్ చూపిస్తుంది ఐఎమ్ రియల్లీ వెరీ హ్యాపీ ఫర్ ఇట్ అనంత చాలా బాగా చెప్పాను అన్న హరే కృష్ణ హరే కృష్ణ అనంత హరే కృష్ణ సుమ్న మాతాజీ హరే కృష్ణ మాతాజీ హరే కృష్ణ మాతాజీ మాతాజీ మీది కనపడుతుంది అనంత ఎంత కాన్ఫిడెంట్ గా ఎంత సబ్జెక్ట్ లో నేను ఎప్పుడు మీతో అంటాను కదా అండర్స్టాండింగ్ ఎంత ఉంది మీకు అనేది ఆ చెప్పే విధానంలోనే అసలు కాన్ఫిడెన్స్ తెలుస్తుంది సేమ్ అనంత కూడా అలాగే చెప్తాడు మాతాజీ నిజంగా ఎంతో చాలా బాగా చెప్పాడు అసలు ఇంత సింపుల్ కూడా మనం మనం పెద్దవాళ్ళం అయినా కూడా ఇంత ఆలోచించ దీని గురించి తను ఇంత చిన్నవాడైనా కూడా అంత డీటెయిల్డ్ గా అసలు ఒక్కొక్కటి ఎగ్జాంపుల్ చెప్తూ చాలా బాగా చెప్పాడు రెగ్యులర్ గా మల్టిపల్ లెక్చర్స్ వింటూ ఉంటాడు మాతాజీ లైక్ క్లాసెస్ అటెండ్ అవుతాడు డైలీ క్లాస్ ఉంటుంది తనకి టెంపుల్ నుంచి సో హీస్ గెటింగ్ పాయింట్స్ మోర్ ఫ్రమ్ అదర్ ప్రొఫెషన్స్ మాతాజీ లిసనింగ్ మాతాజీ అలా విని అవన్నీ గుర్తు పెట్టుకుని అండర్స్టాండ్ చేసుకుని మళ్ళీ ఇంకొకళ్ళకి ప్రీచ్ చేయడం అంటే అది సామాన్యం కాదు కదా ఊరికే విని వదిలేయకుండా చాలా మంచి మార్గంలో ఉన్నాడు చాలా బాగుంది అనంత థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ యాక్చువల్లీ రాధా విషయం ప్రభుజీ క్లాస్ అయింది మాతాజీ హీ కోటెడ్ దట్ అది నిజంగా నాకు బాగా నచ్చింది మాతాజీ లైక్ టంగ్ కి బోన్స్ ఉంటాయి కానీ దాని వల్లే బోన్స్ బ్రేక్ చేస్తుంది అని చెప్పి దట్ వాస్ ఎక్సలెంట్ మాతాజీ అసలు అవును మనం వింటాం అన్నిట్లోకి నాలుగే పవర్ఫుల్ నాలుగు అన్నిట్లో స్ట్రాంగ్ అని బట్ ఇట్ కెన్ బ్రేక్ బోన్స్ అని అలా ఇంకో ఎగ్జాంపుల్ చాలా బాగా చెప్పారు రాధేశ్వరం ప్రభు చేయాలి అదే అలాగే అన్ని మరి నేర్చుకునే మాతాజీ ఏం మనం సృష్టించిన కాదు కదా వింటూ వింటూ అన్ని అవి వాళ్ళు అర్థం చేసుకుని చెప్పగలిగేది రావడమే మరి ప్రీచింగ్ ప్రభుజీ బ్లెస్సింగ్ ఉంది మాతాజీ తప్పకుండా మాతాజీ అసలు ఇంకా అందులో అసలు అడగక్కర్లేదు ఎవర్ అవర్ బ్లెస్సింగ్ హరే కృష్ణ మాతాజీ హరే కృష్ణ అనంత హరే కృష్ణ సుమన మాతాజీ 
హరే కృష్ణ మాతాజీ ధన్య నేను నేను చాలా అసలు మీ లెక్చర్స్ కే అట్రాక్ట్ అయిపోయానంటే మీ బాబు కూడా ఎంత బాగా చెప్పాడు నేనే అదే చెప్పబోతున్నా టంగు గురించి ఎంత బాగా చెప్పాడు మా ఏ జన్మ నుంచి తెచ్చుకున్నాడో మీ ట్రైనింగ్ చాలా చాలా బాగా అసలు ఇంకా వింటున్నాం అంటే ఇంకా అక్కడ నుంచి మనకి వేరే ఏది గుర్తు రాదు అంత అంతలాగా అసుక్కొని పోవాల్సిందే అక్కడ అంత బాగా చెప్తున్నాడు తప్పకుండా మేము కూడా నేర్చుకోవాలి అసలు అతని నుంచి ఎంత బాగా చెప్పాడు టంగు గురించి నేను అదే అనుకుంటున్నా వింటున్నాం గాని దాన్ని కంట్రోల్ లో పెట్టుకోవాలి పెట్టుకోవాలని చిన్నప్పటి నుంచి హృదయానికి అత్తుకుపోయేలాగా ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ బాగా చెప్పాడు మర్చిపోకుండా అది అది ఫాలో అవ్వాలి ఎంత బాగా చెప్పాడు చిన్న పిల్లాడు గనక చెప్పాడు అంటున్నా అన్యదా భావించద్దు అయ్యో అదేం కాదు మతజీ మీ అందరు బ్లెస్సింగ్స్ కావాలంటే మతజీ చాలు గాడ్ బ్లెస్ గాడ్ బ్లెస్ యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ హరే కృష్ణ అనంత చాలా చక్కగా చెప్పామ్మా గాడ్ బ్లెస్ యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ మతజీ హరే కృష్ణ ప్రభుజీ హరే కృష్ణ మతజీ అనంత ప్రభుజీ చాలా చక్కగా చెప్పారు చిన్న వయసైనా మా లాంటి పెద్దవాళ్ళకి మంచిగా అర్థమయ్యేలా చెప్పారు థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ హరే కృష్ణ థ్యాంక్ యూ మాతాజీ థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ హరే కృష్ణ ప్రభుజీ ధన్యవాద్ ప్రణామ్ హరే కృష్ణ అనంత్ వండర్ఫుల్ క్లాస్ so very good understanding and a very deep knowledge actually ga subject gurinchi chaala deep uh, understanding undi so chaala baga explain chesu anant so god bless you and uh, all the best uh, anant thank, thank you prabhu ji hare krishna anant hare krishna prabhu ji బాగుందమ్మా యాజ్ యూజువల్ చాలా బాగా చెప్పావు ఎందుకే ఏంటంటే మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది థింగ్స్ నేను రేపల్లి ఉండో ఒక క్లాస్ తీసుకుందాం అనుకున్నా అన్ని నువ్వు చెప్పేసావు ఇప్పుడు మళ్ళా నాకు ఇంకో వన్ వీక్ పడతాయి మా ప్రిపరేషన్ కి సో ఇప్పుడు ఇప్పుడు మిమ్మల్ని ఇప్పుడు నిన్ను చూసి మిగతా మన కాంగ్రెస్ లో ఉన్న డివోటీస్ చూస్తే ఏం మాట్లాడాలో భయం వేస్తుంది బట్ ఎనీ నీకు యూఆర్ ట్రూలీ బ్లెస్ అండ్ సోల్ నువ్వుగా మా మదర్ ఫాదర్ కూడా నీకు ఫుల్ సపోర్ట్ ఉంది బట్ ఎనీ కీప్ కీప్ డూయింగ్ లైక్ దిస్ and uh, lord krishna will bless you and uh, we are expecting so many good lectures from you hare krishna thank you prabhu ji hare krishna hare krishna anand hare krishna mata ji yeah so 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 cute nan ento ba cheppina ante aa story tirupati story ate ento bond nana so anni prathi oka point asal nu touch chesina prathi point chaala bond nana అసలు తెలిసినా గానీ కొన్ని పాయింట్స్ తెలిసినా గానీ మళ్ళీ ఇవన్నీ వింటుంటే ఇంకా మళ్ళీ కొత్తగా అనిపిస్తుంది చాలా బాగుంది నాన్న చాలా చాలా బాగుంది హరే కృష్ణ హరే కృష్ణ హరే కృష్ణ సుభన మాతాజీ హరే కృష్ణ అనంత్ హరే కృష్ణ మాతాజీ ధన్యవత్ ప్రణామ్ ధన్యవత్ ప్రణామ్ మాతాజీ గాడ్ బ్లెస్ యూ అనంత యువర్ యువర్ ఎంత బాగా చెప్తున్నా లెక్చర్స్ అంటే మాకు అట్లా కూర్చోని వినాలనిపిస్తోంది అండ్ యు ఆర్ టేకింగ్ గుడ్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ ఆల్సో అండ్ యూ టోల్డ్ ద డ్యూటీస్ ఆఫ్ డివోటీస్ హౌ దే హ్యావ్ టు బీ హౌ అండ్ హౌ దే హ్యావ్ టు బిహేవ్ దేర్ హౌ హౌ షుడ్ బి దర్ యాటిట్యూడ్ అనేసి బాగా చెప్పావు చాలా థ్యాంక్ యూ నాన్న టేక్ మర్ మెనీ మోర్ లెక్చర్స్ ఓకే థ్యాంక్ యూ హరే కృష్ణ హరే కృష్ణ థ్యాంక్ యూ మతజీ Okay, Mataji and Prabhuji, so if we don't have uh, anything else, uh, we can end it here, uh, Mataji and Prabhuji. Thank you so much, uh, Mataji and Prabhuji. So uh, please bless him. If you have any questions, you can ask him to ask him. Mataji, if you have any questions, you can ask him. No, Mataji, if you have any questions, you can ask him to ask him. No, no, no. If you have any questions, you can ask him to ask him to ask him to ask him. ఏ తప్పు లేదు అసలు వాడు ఎంత బాగుంటాడు అంటే అసలు అంత ఫ్లేమ్ అసలు ఇట్లా ఆగట్లే వాడిది అసలు ఫ్లో చాలా చాలా బాగుంది మతాజీ హరే కృష్ణ హరే కృష్ణ ఫ్లో 
ओके माताजी बिल एंड इट हेर माताजी रंध्राज श्रीमद भगवत गीता की जय श्रील प्रभुपाद की जय हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण